What's up, YouTube? Speezy Essien here. Welcome back to my channel. Yeah, I'm not <laughs> doing a cave dwelling episode today. Um, so, yeah, what I'm actually going to be doing is a Zippo collection update. It's been quite a while since I've done one of these. And um, despite the fact that it might not seem like it, I actually do have quite a few Zippos to show you. Um, I have, I'm going to be showing you guys six of them. So. Without further ado, leaving off, I think this is, a uh, well, yeah, this is from where I left off, uh, in the last one. We're gonna go ahead and get into this. Okay, you know what, I'm actually gonna show you these first few in sort of a chronological order from when they were made, because these first three that I'm gonna be showing you were all obtained on the same day. So, let me go ahead and get into this with this one, alright? Now... This thing, as you can probably tell by using your eyeballs, is old. It's really, really old. Um, it's been, re it's had its hinge uh, replaced, air quote replaced. I just didn't get a chance to do that. Um, so yeah, this thing is really, really, really old. Um, as you can see. And it's got a degraded flint, very wobbly hinge, and the hinge has this paper clip in it, so it's kind of sharp. I bet if I put this in my pocket, I'd get poked a lot. So, yeah, I wouldn't really want to use this thing in this current condition. It will be eventually sent in for repair. Whenever I get the lazy side of me um, completely destroyed, and uh, then I shall worry about doing stuff like getting this thing sent in for repair and such. Um... So, yeah, it probably was a high-polished chrome at some point, maybe even a street chrome, I really don't know. I would actually assume this is a high-polished chrome. And if you're wondering when this was made, it was made in that. And, um, the four slashes on the left and the three slashes on the right stands for 1967. The reason why I know this is because I memorized the date that this thing was made. So, yeah, this is a 1967. Ugh, all, all, all gross and, and weird. But, yes, there you go. Let's go ahead, get a good close-up of that nice, used-looked thing, I guess. So, yeah, anyways, that's it for that one. Let's go ahead and set this off to the side and move swiftly on to the next one. Okay, so here is number two. Alright, so, let's go ahead and take a look at it. Okay, so this is the second one, as you can see. It is actually an antique silver. This one actually pings. And uh, this one was actually made in A of XV, which stands for 1999. So, yes. One year before the Great Millennium 2000 started. Um, and uh, this insert, which is in very good condition, um... It's not matching, though, because it's a brass insert, and I do not think that these antique silver ones, excuse me, come with brass inserts. But this thing was made in some time, I don't know. I kind of have to... This actually might be upside down. Yeah, it's upside down. Um, XVI, uh, hang on. K of XIV, which stands for November of 1998. So that's when this thing was made. So, yeah, let's go ahead and put this back. Again, pretty much brand new insert. Um, so I could actually take this out and use it, um, for something. Uh, as you can see, it's got this button on it. This is a Malcolm X button. I'm sure most of you know who that guy is. Um, yeah, it's very nice. I don't think this is something that Zippo did, though, because of the fact that, um, I don't think Zippo would, uh, I, I don't really think that Zippo would put a button like this on there. I, I, I know that they have, like, one of their, um, four-leaf clover ones has a similar sort of emblem, but I don't think that this is something that Zippo put on. It just doesn't seem like something they would do. This looks like an aftermarket thing, so, yeah. Um, very nice, very, very nice. Just a nice close-up of it. Um, so, yeah. Anyways, there you go. Set that down, and let's move on to the next one. Thank you. Okay, so the next one is actually not a lighter, but it is a Zippo, so we're going to show it anyway. Weeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee
here it is. This is the zipper roll. The packaging is actually incomplete. There's supposed to be like a border around here that says stuff, but it's not there, obviously, as you can see. So, whatever. We'll just take that out and take a look at this lovely zipper rule. As you can see, this is meant for Evans Armstrong Incorporated, which I finally learned was a flooring company. And actually still is a flooring company. They just took out the... I think they took out the Evans from their name. So, yeah, that's why I could never find anything about it, because the name changed. It's still, like, Ar it's still Armstrong Incorporated, but it's not Evans Armstrong Incorporated. So that was really, really a big throw-off. And uh, for those of you, again, who do not know what this is, this is actually a tape measure. So this will, uh... A little tape measure. Very nice. Right. Kind of revved up like that. Um, I actually do think that is a feature of these things. Just kind of weird spring mechanism. Well, where are we at right now? We're at 30 inches. Nice. Come on. Close. Alright. <laughs> Anyway, so yeah, um, this is probably, actually this is hand-painted. If we're getting really close like this, you can see how this is sort of uh, hand-painted. There you go, get the glare on there correctly. You kind of see how that was um, probably hand-done. Uh, not the engraving part itself, but the actual coloring was actually hand-done. Which is a really cool thought. So, there you go. And it's very nicely done, too. Um, a lot of these older zippos that had this same process done to them, you won't really see paint in there because the paint wears off as eventually as you use it. As it goes in and out of your pocket, the paint will rub off a little bit. But clearly this tape measure did not see much use, so it still looks basically brand new, even on the sides. Hang on, let me get that a little bit defingerprinted. There you go. So yeah, that's that basically. Sweet deal. And the back is just blank. It's a brush chrome, as you can probably tell. So yeah, and there's the bottom. Like I said, there really is no signs of um, dating codes or anything. I'm just assuming this was made in the 80s because it's been hand painted, but it's got this new, it's got the newer, the new logo on it, the one that we're familiar with today. Um, and I think that came out in, uh, you know, around the 80s. And I do not think that this lasted very long. Uh, I, you know, I think they might have switched to what they do today, the silk screening. They might have done that in either the 90s or the 1000s or the 2000s. I'm not really sure. I'm, I'm assuming it was part of the 90s. That's what I'm thinking it was. But, yeah. I'm just going to tell you that this was made in the 80s at some point. So, yeah. 80s, 90s, somewhere in that time frame. So, that's the basic general idea that I have in terms of what it was made. So, anyways, set that off there and move on to the next one. Okay, the next one is going to look somewhat similar to another one of these. Bam! Here we go. Probably from the same collection. This was given to me in a, as a stocking... Wow, excuse me. I'm sorry. Um, as a stocking stuffer in um, my Christmas stocking, which is pretty cool. This one, like this one, actually did suffer from a degraded flint. This one actually still has a flint in it, I think. Yeah, still fully functional flint. Um, this one, on the other hand, though, used to have a fully functional flint. This is why I go in, and every time I get a new Zippo, I take the flints out of them, uh, if I don't plan on using it, just so that way this doesn't happen. So, there you go. Um, in terms of when this thing was actually... Well, okay, let me talk about this a little bit. As you can obviously see, it is a antique silver finish, just like this one. Um, it's got the same sort of medallion button, what you might call it, design on it, so that's pretty cool. And, yeah, a little bit more up close here, as you can see, it's the Rockefeller Center in New York City, which is pretty cool. Um, so, yeah. There you kind of see some sort of refraction going on there. Come on. Thank you. I'm assuming that might be just glass covering it or something. Um, same date code as the uh, other one down here, um, A of XV, which means January of 1999. The insert, ugh, get ready. <laughs> Um, huh. I was expecting there to be tons of flint dust going everywhere. Um, meh, kind of stinks a little bit in here now, actually. Uh, I don't know, faintly. Um, uh, J of XIV, so October of, uh, 1998, so kind of weird. Blech, blech. I actually think there is some flint dust in here because the air tastes kind of funny now. Eh, maybe not. I don't know. Maybe it's just me going crazy. But yeah, it's kind of interesting, though, how 
you know, yeah. I'm assuming maybe this one had its flint replaced at some point. Maybe that's an insert. I don't, I don't really know. But maybe he tried to do that with this one, but he just could not because the flint had already degraded enough to where it was um, pretty much impossible to get out. I am thinking about one day going in and repairing this insert myself because uh, I know I can do it, so we'll see how it goes. Anyways, let's go ahead okay, and move so on. Okay, so now we're going to move on to um, some more traditional lighters, and there's only two left. So, here we go. Next. As you can see, we're back in modern-day territory, I guess. Um, so, yeah, as you can see, box. Very nice. We like these boxes, and we all know what they are. And this one here is model 24717 BS Bullet Hole, or BS Bullet Hole, if you know who Speed Dog 138 is. Um, so, yeah, let's go ahead and let's take a look at this. So, opening it up, pop. You will see this. And this is what the lighter itself is. Um, so, yeah, it's basically what it is is a toffee finish. Um, which is basically a brown version of the Candy Apple Red. Um, I'm pretty sure you all know what that is by now, um, especially if you've been following my um, Zippo collection updates as I've been doing, like, even the ones where, even the videos where I make videos about, you know, every single time I get a new Zippo, I make a video about it, you know, the, pretty much the day I get it. I try to do it the day I get it, it's just so that way I can have the date documented and such. Um, sometimes it just doesn't work out, though, but for the most part, I try to get it done the day that I got it, and, um, or at least the day that I peel the sticker off. That, to me, is when I consider it officially mine, um, if you know what I mean, so, yeah. But, yeah, um, anyways, you probably know by now what the Candy Apple Red is. If you don't, look it up on Google, or just picture a red version of this without that there. So, yeah, a red version of this. There you go. <laughs> anyways, yeah, nice little, um, thing right to there. Um, so, yeah, basically, this is just a brown version of that. And, uh, if you're wondering where this thing was made... Good grief. This thing was made in C of 12, so March of last year, so 2012, March 2012. Um, my battery is blinking, so we're going to have to move on here. And uh, yeah, in terms of the insert, kind of loose, but whatever. It's mostly just a showpiece. C of 12, so matching inserts, dates, um, March of 2012. By the way, the reason why I did not show you the date for this one's insert is because I don't really want to take it out. That degraded flint has been in there for a while. And, yeah, I don't want to get powder all over the place. Anyways, that should do it for that one. So, bam. Okay, and finally, we've got one more. One more left. This one is a birthday present, actually. Um, so I got this one last week. And, uh, yeah, let's take a look at it. This one is model 28341 Ice Diamond Plate. All right, so very nice. And let's take a look at it. Bam, there it is. There it is in focus. Yay, we like it when it's in focus. Um, so let's pop it out. Again, very similar to this one. It's basically a blue version of the um, Candy Apple Red. Um, it's actually called Cerulean Blue. Um, if you look it up on the internet, it's Cerulean Blue, um, which is spelled all strange. Actually, it's sort of spelled the way it sounds, but yeah, anyways, whatever. Um, so yeah, as you can see, let me... It's sort of an etched underneath, and, uh, yeah, basically a street chrome lighter with these etch marks in it that's been dipped in this blue stuff. Um, so, yeah, that's that. I seem to be getting quite to the collection of blue lighters. I actually think this is my third lighter that is blue. That's a little bit ridiculous. I don't want only blue lighters, but whatever. I do appreciate it because it was a gift, and I like this one. This one is really amazing looking, as you can obviously tell. So... Yes, I, I don't know why I, I didn't, like, buy it for myself earlier. Um, anyways, in terms of the, uh, the insert... Oh, actually, did I show you the date of this? I mean, I don't really know if I did or not. Not really the day, but the date, uh, code. Um, hang on. C of 12, and you can see a little bit of the blue residue got stuck in there, but whatever. And in terms of this, E of 12. So, yeah, March of 12, and then April of 12. Wait. Yeah, April. So this is made in April. So there we all go. Aren't we happy to know that? I know I am certainly am. Um, so yeah, there you go. That is going to do it for this Zippo Collection update. Thank you all for watching, and my battery is getting really low. It's been blinking all video. Well, actually, ever since I started this one, but whatever. Anyways, if you want to know where to, uh, if you want to see uh, the videos I made on any one of these, um, actually, these three up here were all made in the same video because I got them all the same day. Um, 
But yeah, whenever I get a new Zippo or Zippos, like if I get one new Zippo, I'll just make the video on the one Zippo. But if I get like a bunch of new Zippos in a, in a day, I'll make a video on all of them, pretty much, in the same video, if you know what I mean. Um, so yeah, these three here are sort of a uh, their own video, but yeah, these all have individual videos. So just look up the model number on my channel or look up the name on my channel and you should be able to find them. Um, the name that was on the little tag thing that I was showing you at the back of them. So, uh, except for these. I think this one I actually called like another antique or antique silver and these are just called some antiques that's the name of the video pretty much um so yeah anyways that's gonna do it guys oh i do actually have a video on this one by itself but it wasn't really when i got it new it was um mysterious zippo rule yeah that's that one's individual video so anyways there you go guys thanks for watching and adios